So I'm heading to Newstead Abbey today. Don't know much about it, but we'll have a look when we get there. Um, I'm parked in a place called Blitzworth Woods, I think it is. Just back there. It's a free car park. So that's always good. I don't know if it's free to get in Newstead Abbey though. We'll find out that when we get there as well. It's about a five hour round trip. So there's the trip in hole. And Newstead Abbey is about halfway around, so a good stopping point. Hopefully there's a few interesting things along the way, but we'll uh, we'll find out. Looks like an equestrian area. Big mirrors though, I didn't know they had mirrors in them. Don't know what they're for. Quite a few horses around here to be honest, so makes sense. Going to a place called Raven's Head, that's the next town along. I think I've just gone through Bloodsworth. So, not very far in, a couple of miles maybe. Got ages to go yet. I can hear someone making noises. Keeps going well. Seems to be doing some sort of training. It's just somewhere down there, I can hear him. Ah, oh, she's heading sheep. I could see it around the distance, just talking to the dog. Yeah, my dog can't do that. My dog can't even bring back a ball. Lots of pigs. There's some little piglets down here, but there's a big pig guarding them. I don't know if you can see them, they're tiny. Little pigs. There's a fence here, so I can't get that close, but... There's lots of little piglets. Just there. Falling around, Mum. Got a few pigs, and then there's a big fluffy pig down there. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 or 15 piglets. I had no idea they were so small. Yeah, random pig farm. Didn't expect to see that. These gardens are huge. <coughs> Not enough time to look around them all. So quickly, while I'm just whizzing round New Stabby, you'll see here I'm in the gardens. And the gardens and the abbey itself are around 900 years old. The gardens about 300 acres, so you'll see a bit of that just here now. Obviously some swans in the pond. Uh, just to mention the abbey, you can just see in the background there in the house. Um, it was never actually an abbey, it was actually a priory beforehand. So it's now obviously renamed to a New Stead Abbey, but it was actually a priory. So, just, while I'm just walking around the gardens, I'm, the gardens are actually on the house, around it through multiple owners. So that's why there's different sections to the gardens, you can see where bits have been added on. Um, but the most, sorry, the most famous owner was Lord Byron, who was a poet. Um, 
And around 1749, there's a river that runs very close to the Abbey. And around 1749, he constructed a little miniature fort. Um, and he carried out major naval battles in the water. The water became his main Mediterranean Sea. Um, and then in 1877, another family, the Webb family, converted it to a boat house. But yes, as you can see, I'm just walking through the gardens here, and uh, yeah, they're, they're enormous. It's a huge place. Got feet on him. He's a big lad. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Weird. Another spooky ghost. I'm supposed to be leaving, but I'm trying to find my way out. I'm hoping this door opens. Give that a jump in the wall, but I think it's quite a big drop. And I think the door's locked. Let's find out. Let's find another building over there, I don't know what that is. Yeah, door locked. And we'll not jump because there's people. But we will jump over here. We'll be alright. Just need to go. Losing daylight. Alright. See you in a bit. Yeah, just leaving doing some Abbey now. But thoughts on it? Really nice place. Got a cafe. Little shop. Kids fishing. Yeah, it's a good place. If you want to come for like a picnic, there's loads of loads of room for that. Yeah, so really nice. Don't know how much the parking were. Um, because obviously I've not drove here. And the car park closes about quarter past five, so you know you've got plenty of time in day. You, know, you could come and just chill out all day here. Like I say, just chill out. I had a quick look at the shop, not very big, only small. Probably more aimed at kids to be honest. So yeah. Yeah, definitely come. Alright, see you in a bit. Yeah, they tread on this little guy. Look at him. I think we're going to help him get across because otherwise he's going to get trudged on. Should be alright then. There we go. Should we get trudged on now? I don't know how I've seen him. I mean, I suppose it's a luminous green which helped, but hopefully we should be alright now. See if we spot him. Oh, I don't want to tread on one. Oh, I tell you what, this path though, coming out of here, it's a killer, it's just up, down, up, down. But when you get to the ups, you don't get bad views, to be fair. Dragonfly. Got about an hour and 50 minutes left, before we're back. Walking through Thieves Wood. Don't know how it gets his name, hopefully I don't get robbed. And I have not, I've been probably been walking down this trail probably about 45 minutes. Oh, I've not seen a single person. Look at the map though, it looks like uh, quite a decent sized woods. I'm right on the edge though. The outside of it, following the path. Heads pretty much straight back to where I've started. Going up to Nottingham Road soon, so I need to cross that. I assume that's going to be a busy road. Yes, I am tired. Lots of squirrels as well. There you go, one there, run away. Yes, let's keep it going. Nice little pond here. Again. Not going around long, because I ain't got long. One duck. Let's carry on. Right along. Let's go. Oh, nearly back now. No, made it. Go out. 
it says distance travelled 12.7 and remaining 12.7 it's not entire routes about 13 miles so so saying that I've finished but I've not finished it yet we've got a bit more to go oh, oh god I am destroyed legs are killing yeah it's been a good walk I've seen a lot of horses weirdly a lot of field horses so I'm just excited me now yeah good walk quiet I'll probably visit New Abbey. probably drive there though this time and have a decent look around yeah now there let's see how far long we've been walking for five and a half hours well, I've been stopping a few times, but it's not a bad amount of time. I feel it tomorrow, eating legs, but let's see where we've got next. See you in a bit. And here we are, back to where we started. It's just starting. It was a bit light, so it's good timing. <laughs> <laughs> 